I have some new information from a Q&A that we did a couple of months ago and you're going to want to see this because it's about sound on your model railroad. So let's see what I'm talking about here. I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing our dream of building a model railroad. Now a couple of months ago I did a Q&A on a question from Will Kling and he was asking about a shield or some other device for his Arduino to do sound effects. He says he has a steel mill and he says whenever people walk up to it he wants something to trigger it so he can play some sound effects of the steel mill. Well at that time I told him you know it was probably about $35 or $30 to get everything that you're going to need include after the Arduino just to get it up to the volume that you need and the reason for that is because I was looking at some other things and the videos that I saw on them used a little speaker and it sounded like those greeting cards that you open up and get the song out of it or the cartoon clip out of it which is really terrible but I found out for myself I went a little bit deeper when I was doing my welder scene right back here. Now, I found a DF Mini, and I'm going to put you down on the other screen here. I found this little gizmo right here. It's called a DF Mini, and I paid under $8 for it. I got it from the manufacturer. I wanted to make sure that I got a good one. Now you can get knockoffs for as little as under two and a half dollars a piece. And I think if you get them in quantity you could even get them cheaper than that. I'm not sure but I looked around and you can get them on eBay really cheap. I got this one at Amazon. Now all it takes is an SD card and the SD card reader is it's a micro SD card. The reader takes up most of the, the board. The, the two chips are on the bottom. It has the micro SD uh, card reader and it has a small amplifier on it. Now right here is all the inputs and outputs on there. There's 16 pins on it. Now I was impressed when I first turned this thing on and I think you will be too because I'm going to turn the power on to this thing and I have this uh, this is an old uh, speaker from a uh, home theater system. It's uh, 3 ohm. It's a 3 ohm speaker. Now I put a sketch on here. I first tried it with the um, Nano and it worked good with the Nano but I wanted to have something where I could uh, trip the thing. I, I could trigger the thing to start. So right now I have to keep it on there for a half a second because when I was testing it I have all the print uh, delays in there so I could read it so I have to keep it on for a second but you could hear this is at half the volume you could you could select the volume from 0 to 30 I have it selected at uh, 15 now this sounds pretty good. I got five clips on there and I'm using songs on here from the YouTube um, library. They're uh, royalty free songs on here so we could play them on here. But anyway I have the songs on there because you could hear them better on the video than the actual uh, clips for your sound effects. I have a, I have a, a micro SD card some here, somewhere here. Here we go, I have another one here that I have the sound effects on there. And those are down low, but they still come out really good. But as you can see from what you hear on here, this is a really good device for the cost of it. Now it puts out a really good sound. Now granted, this is a good speaker here, and it's three ohms, they say eight, eight ohms anything up to a three watt speaker on it but I'll show you a little bit more on this how to hook it up the sketch on it and everything else but you could hear how good that sounds I'm not sure how it sounds 
until I uh, replay this for you. But to me, this sounds really good. Now you have five EQ, EQ settings on here also. Right now I have it set at bass. There's like normal, pop, rock, classic, jazz, country, and bass that you could set it at. And you could set the volume, and there's a lot of different items on there that you could set in your sketch. And what I, let me show you, let me put it on the other camera right now. And what I have, I could go over the sensor and shut it off also. So it, it's easy as that is, it, you could just put a sensor up against the edge of your layout and have somebody walk over to it, and your sound effects will start operating I'll go over it again and it'll start over again so it's easy as that I'll get I'll show you the sketch and everything on here how I hooked it up if you would like to see more videos like this go ahead and hit my subscribe button and while you're at it ding that bell so you could be notified whenever I have a new video coming out yeah. I wrote a simple sketch to get this thing to work with the sensor. And all I did is put sensor on pin 3 and busy on pin 5. And the busy is a is a pin on the on the player itself that determines whether it is in use or not in use. Now in here you can see that I have a lot of, uh, I have serial begin and a lot of the commands in here are specific to the uh, DF player library. But I have the sensor and busy, then the volume I have set to 15. I have the equalizer on base. Uh, you don't need that in there, you could leave it uh, empty or you could put normal there there's a normal plus five different ones on there and output output device is uh, telling it's using this SD card now down here in the loop I'm using sensor state and is busy to determine uh, what's happening in the loop itself now I still have the the print in here to to tell me if it's either high or low at the at any given time but here's how I started out it as if the sensor state is low and is busy is high now normally when it's not busy it's high and then sensor state low is when when you cover up the sensor because the sensor is normally high so that's telling it when you cover up the sensor that's like pushing the button start this if statement and so it goes through the serial print and it, and the one command that we're really concerned about here is enable loop all and it will go through all of the songs or sound effects that you have in that given folder or on that SD card until it you it, you give it another command the next command that I give is to turn it off so it's the same thing if sensor state equal low is when we cover up the IR sensor and busy is low when it's when busy is low it's running it's doing something so it's telling it when when you cover that up and it's and it's running you want to shut it off so the command is disable loop all and that's it that's all you have to do and then you can go back up to the top and cover it again and it'll start all over again now the sketch on the right is all the functions that are available in the library for the DF player and most of this stuff uh, you don't really need it's just there for your information but you can see over here you could ha have the volume volume up volume down you could put that into commands Here's all the um, the equalizer settings right there. Okay, here's what I used here for the SD card. Okay, here's some other ones. Now, if you wanted to use the DAC, and that is on, and I'll show it to you on the thing right here. These two pins right here are for headphones or earbuds or for computer speakers 
output setting true output setting enable the output and set the gain to 15 so that means that you're setting the volume to 15 for the DAC for this line right here enable DAC now that is again these two pins right here this would be the DAC right the DAC left and you'll need the ground on that one now you could use the computer speakers on there or if you wanted to monitor it with your uh, headphones you could do it that way there here are all the commands that you're going to need this is the full function right here and this is the uh, one of the sketches that comes with the on github for the uh, for the DF player now basically most of this is just information here that you're going to need to put into your sketch like I have on my sketch I have uh, what do I have now I have base but here are all the uh, options for your equalizer uh, I use this one here because we're using the SD card. I'm not sure what the other ones on there are for. Uh, they don't have any uh, documentation on that. Uh, over here for the enable DAC, that is for the headphones. Now the DAC is the only option that is in stereo. If you're using the speaker, that's mon monaural and it combines both the left and the right into uh, the center so when it, if you want to use uh, left and right and use stereo you would have to use computer speakers on this and you would have to initialize it with uh, one of the commands on here right here output setting true and 15 to set the volume on there okay here are all the available commands on here next previous play loop loop the, the first mp3 file on there and you could put any number in there to do a specific file you could pause it you could start it you could play f any folder or any specific folder and file in a folder with that command there enable loop all is what I use to uh, turn it on and disable loop all to turn it off uh, play mp3 folder you can play a specific folder in there there's advertise you can do advertisements we won't get into that play large folder not exactly sure what that's for you could loop a folder a specific folder you could random everything you can enable loop disable loop and here are all the commands that you could use at the top of your sketch for your serial monitor to see what what the state states are of the different um, categories here you know when you're first starting just to see what's in your sketch so that I'll put everything up in the description of the video I'll put the, uh, this in here and I'll take out all the print commands on there so you'd be able to see it uh, without the print commands. It's only a, just a couple of lines of code for each command. So it's a pretty simple code to get this thing started and to uh, stop this again. So let me turn this back on so you can see where it is. Let me see. Here's the USB cable right here. The only issue that I have with it, and you'll see when I plug this in, You hear that pop in there. Here, let me reset it. And that, that's the only thing. And I contacted a manufacturer and they told me a couple of things and that's why I have these resistors here. And that did not take care of the problem. So they said uh, they'll send me another one. Which And so we'll start this. And this is at half volume. I'm going to move the speaker over here. This is the speaker we're using again. Oops, did I just cover it up again? I guess I did. There we go. But this is pretty good sound for a little device like that that's under $3. All the information is going to be in the description where you could find the library for this, where you could find this in on Amazon, and where you could find this find the um, 
this information, the wiki right here that gives you all the information on this and how to set it up. I'm going to incorporate that into my welding scene and also into my building scene. I don't know if you can see it right here, but we're going to have that back there. But anyway, I'm glad that I found this. Let me shut that off. I'm glad that I found this and we're going to be using this in a lot of our projects and I'll even do a lesson on Arduino made easy on this after this next one because the next one is showing you what the um, welding sketch is. That's going to be lesson eight and that will be coming up. But anyway, we'll see you.